Kohola, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh. And his only begotten son, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the beginning and the end. To all the sincere brothers out there pushing these words, my teachers from the great millstone family, the Lord led me to these great, great teachers from the head apostles to the bishops, to the camp leaders, family, someone, somebody had to teach us through the spirit, family. We are blessed. The Lord bring great men into your life eh? to open your mind to the gospel. I didn't learn this on my own. I didn't learn this on my own. Honor and glory to all the teachers, all the videos that I've been watching, paying attention, studying. Yes, it all goes back to the great millstone family. You have to give credit where credit is due. I come to you with the hearts of humility, hearts of humbleness, family. I thank the Most High for putting this word in my mouth, eh? To feed the apple of his eyes, eh? his elect. We don't take this truth lightly. Look at yourself today. In the last days, the last days, the Lord have opened the Lord have opened your eyes. Hey, right there, you know you have hope because we know what is coming. Things are moving fast on our behalf, family. This is all happening. So our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, can come and get us out of this place and take us home. Shalom. Shalom. To you, the elect, the brothers and sisters who are walking circumspectly, taking heed to this message. We are living in the last days, family. Yesterday, we know that one of the top general from the um, from Iran military, the Iran uh, sorry Iranian Revolutionary Guard Colonel Colonel was killed yesterday. He was assassinated. And family, if you remember back in 2020 January, their top general Soleimani was killed. Family, there hasn't been retaliation yet. But family, things are escalating at the speed of light. Today, the Prime Minister Raisi says what? Iran, Iran, Iran vows retaliation over killing of revolutionary guard colonel. Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi on Monday promised a strong response after a senior member of Iran's powerful Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps was gunned down on the previous day, it was just yesterday, I insist on the serious pursuit of the killers by security officials and I have no doubt that the blood of this great martyr will be avenged, Rasi said. Family, it is the Lord that is bringing these nations together. Oh yes, it is the Lord. And all of a sudden, family, 24 hours later, this is the headline news. It just pops in my, in my, uh, my news feed. And family, I couldn't help it. This is from ZeroHedge.com. It says, unprecedented. This is the title. It says here, U.S. Air Force to join Israelis in mock attack on Iran. Oh, family, things are just getting... This. When you hear this news, family, you should be extremely excited. Because we know that these things have to happen before our Lord comes. And it's the Lord that is mostering the battle family first. Let's open up with, I will get into the article, but let's go to the book of Zephaniah. The book of Zephaniah. Let's allow the Lord to speak. Zephaniah chapter 1. Pick it up from verse 14. It says, the great day of the Lord is near, family. It is near and hasteth greatly. Family, it is fast approaching because why? Yahweh Shai says he has to cut the time short. Yahweh Shai can't wait to take over his throne. Family, 
the redeemer of Israel. From here, he says, even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Finally, we know that the Lord is going to muster the battle. He's going to bring all this nation to the Middle East. This is where the battle is going to take place. Armageddon. The war to end all wars, family. This is just the beginning. But family, we are rejoicing because things are actually happening. The prophecies are jumping off the pages. It says here, verse 16, a day of the trumpet and the alarm against the fence cities and against the high towers. Oh, yes. All this nation. NATO and its allies, Russia and its allies. Oh, yes. They are coming together because it's the Lord that is bringing everybody together to sit down and enjoy the show. Verse 17 says, And I will bring distress upon men that they shall, they are, sorry, that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Oh yes, the day of the Lord, family. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by fire, by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Family, oh, this is what is coming. They are getting together because it is the Lord that's bringing them together. Let's get into the article quickly. I don't want this lesson to be long, family. It says, unprecedented. U.S. Air Force to join Israelis in mock attack on Iran. As if an intense proxy war with nuclear powerhouse Russia isn't bringing enough heat, the Biden White House has now given the green light for unprecedented U.S. participation in an Israeli, sorry, in an in an Israel drill simulating a massive attack on Iran's nuclear facility. Family, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, yes. Honor and glory to our power, Yahweh. Because he says he is about to do all his pleasure. Hmm? These nations are going to know who the true power is. Oh, family, we are sitting back and calling upon our power, giving him glory, praising his name because he hasn't forgotten us. Family, we could have been lost in the world. In the the last days, he opened our eyes. Family, count yourself blessed. Don't take this truth lightly. Family, let's continue. It says, according to the Times of Israel, the U.S. Air Force will serve as a complementary force with refueling planes, drilling with Israel fighter jets as they simulate entering Iranian territory and carrying out repeated strikes. The mock attack on Iran will happen this month as part of a broader Israel military exercise called Chariots of Fire. I love that name because we know our chariots are coming, family. Oh, I remember Elisha, you know, crying, Father, Father, the chariots of Israel. Hey, now they are calling their the exercise Chariots of Fire. Oh, yes, family, the Lord, eh? the Lord has a great sense of humor. Oh, the Lord has a great sense of humor. Let's read this from Twitter. It says, The U.S. Air Force is joining apartheid Israel to do military exercise, simulating entering Iranian territory and launching airstrikes. 
The U.S. and Israel militaries are blatantly threatening Iran with war. No, it is not them that are doing it. This is the will of our power. You see, we like to give a man credit. Oh no, the Lord says what? A man's going is of the most high family. When you know the book, when you are blessed, the Lord blesses with the understanding of the scriptures, family. He says a man's going is of the most high. How would then a man know his own way? He says the king's heart is in the hands of the most high hour. Like the rivers of water, he turned in whichever way. He's the one directing them to fulfill his will. Remember, he told us he would do all his pleasure. Isn't that what he's doing now? He's going to let the same thing he did to Pharaoh. Hey, Pharaoh brought his magicians and then as soon as, was it Aaron or Moses, lay down his, uh, his, uh, his, rod, his, uh, his rod and then, and then he, they also lay down their rod. But guess what? Our, our snake swallowed their snake. Hey, don't play with the Most High. Eh? The Most High had a great sense of humor. You, the man that gave you breath, you want to challenge him? Have you lost your mind? Fear the Most High. He said the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Fear the Lord. Don't fear no man. Fear the Most High Yahweh. There's no such thing as what? Uh, 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 what is it called? My will. I'll do my, my this, is, this, is, this is my will. No, there's no such thing as that. He says a man's going is of the most high. He's the one directing you. You have no say in this. He says dozens of, dozens of Israel Air Force. Let's continue here. Dozens of Israel Air Force fighter jets are expected to take part in the exercise and fly hundreds of miles from Israel to the west above the Mediterranean in a way that simulates a, a flight route to Iran. Hmm. reports general michael kirilla commander of u.s central command landed in israel on tuesday which is today i mean yeah it's tuesday to observe the exercises though there's no indication of an imminent real world strike u.s participation in the drill is an implicit endorsement of an israel initiated war of aggression and a signal that the United States might not only agree to it, but participate. If so, it wouldn't be the first time United States Air Force tankers facilit facilitated aggression in the region. Before a halt was announced in 2018, American tankers controversially aided Saudi strikes in Yemen. In addition to directly killing civilians, including 131 Men, women, and children gathered at a 2015 wedding celebration. The Saudi campaign has plunged Yemen into one of the world's largest humanitarian crises. That's what they do, family. That's why the Lord is about to remove them from power. Because the whole creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. They are waiting for the true Israelites to take over the kingdom and rule with righteousness under Yahweh Shai. This is what is coming. These nations have to be removed. Russia, China, India, none of them are going to be the next power. The next power that is coming is Yahweh Shai's kingdom. That's right. This is just, they are just preparing the way for the true king, the king of kings, the lord of lords, the beginning and the ending, the alpha and the omega. And his name is Yahawashai in the Hebrew tongue. No, his name is not Jesus Christ. He's not pale. He's not blonde. He's not blue eyes. He's a dark skinned man. Let's get the precepts. Family, this is going to be quick. Joel, the book of Joel, Joel 3, 12, it says, let's start from verse 11, it says, arise, it says, no, sorry, assemble yourself, actually, you know what, let's go pick up from verse 9, 
Joel chapter 3 verse 9. It says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. He said, let all the men of war draw nigh. Let them come up. Come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourself and come. All ye heathen and gather yourself together. Run about hither. Cause thy mighty ones to come down. Oh, Yahweh, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. The Lord's judgment, that's what it means. The Lord is bringing all of them together. For there, listen to what the Lord is saying. He says, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen. Run about. But yea, he said, put yea in the circle, for the harvest is ripe. Oh, yes, you see, the Lord, man, I tell you, he's very poetic, eh? He says, put yea in the circle. We know what circle is, a farming equipment, eh? Back in the ancient days, when you walk into your, your vineyard, you use it to, you know, maybe take a cluster of grapes. Yes, he it says, it's ripe. Listen to this, listen to this. It says, put yea in the circle, for the harvest is ripe. Mm. Come, get, get you down, for the press is full, the fat overflow, for their wickedness is great. Hmm? Their wickedness is great. Iran says they're going to retaliate. 24 hours later, America is joining Israel. Eh? Exercise is called fire of chariots. Eh? A mock, a mock exercise. You know, an attack against Iran, Iranian nuclear facility. Family, it's all getting, this all, it's, this is all about Revelation 14, 13, uh, sorry, Revelation 11, 4, 11, sorry, Revelation 11, 14. Actually, let's get it, let's get it, I'll come back to Revelation, what is this here? Revelation, let's, let's bring it, what am I doing here? Let's go to Revelation. Revelation 11, verse 14. Is it in the first 14? Yes, the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. The second woe was referring to the second world war. The third woe is the third world war, the last war before our Savior makes his way down here, family. This is it, family. Oh, let's buy, let's go back to Joel. Let's finish. Let's finish. Jo Joel. Joel chapter. Where was I? I think I was. Uh, here. Verse 30. He said, put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down for the press is full. The fast overflow for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. That's the time that is coming. The Lord is gathering these nations and they're going to fulfill his will. They're going to they're going to perfect it, family. Oh yes. To make way for his only begotten son. Before Yahweh shall come, this place is going to be on fire. And he is going to add to it. Oh yeah, because they're going to turn around, they're going to see the so-called chariots, they're going to say, oh, it's the UFOs. Let's attack them. Family says it. They're going to force them to fight. Actually, since I quoted it, let's go. Let's go to the book of, uh, I think it's, uh, is this Ezra 13? I think it's Second Ezra chapter 13. Here. It says here, And I beheld and lo, the man walked strong with thousands of heavens you listen to that family the chariots that are coming is in the thousands listen to this and when he turned his countenance to look all the things tremble that were seen under him and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth all the burn that heard his voice like as the earth faileth death it it feeleth the fire 
Because the chariot family, there are going to be fire coming out of it. Lasers coming out of it. And after this, I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the men that came out of the sea. So these nations, as they are fighting in the valley, the valley of Jehoshaphat family, the Lord is going to appear. This is what Ezra is saying. This is what Ezra saw. The Lord is going to appear with his angels in this beautiful chariot, the so-called UFOs family. And they're going to fight. They're going to attempt to fight the Lord. Here, let me repeat verse 5 again. And after this, I beheld and lo, there was, a, that there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds from all over the world. Because this is, this is the third world war family. Winds of the heaven to subdue the men that came out of the sea. But I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. Family, the Lord... Yahweh Redeemer, Yahweh Shais. His chariot is the father of all ships. It's the biggest ship you can imagine. Because when Ezra saw it, Ezra thought it was a mountain. So Ezra is looking around and saying like, wow, where did he get, where did he get that mountain from? He thought he cut it out of some place. But he says, no, he couldn't find it. This is how big the Redeemer's chariot is. He's the king of kings. The Lord of, you think he's going to, no, he's coming in his glory. The father ship. This is what is coming. And these nations, oh, he's going to force them to fight. Oh, yes. He's going to force them to fight him. <laughs> Here. It says, But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. But I would have seen the region of the place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, and yet does fight. That's right, they're going to be afraid. But the Lord is going to put a spirit in them to fight him. Let's hear what it says. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that. He sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire and out of his lips a flaming breath and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. Those are the brimstone, the lasers coming out of the, out of the ship. Destroying Esau, these nations and their army. Verse 11, it says, And they were all mixed together. The blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which were prepared to fight, and burned them up, everyone, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. You hear what? Ezra was afraid. That's the prophet. Ezra. He says, the Lord burned all this multitude. This is the image that the angel revealed to him. So when the Lord comes, family, these nations are going to attempt. They're going to attempt to fight the Lord. But they're going to lose. That, ba that battle is going to start in the Middle East, the valley in, the, in Jehosh of Jehoshaphat. I hope... Uh, Joel 3. Multitudes. Joel 3, 14. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Family, I don't want this thing to be long. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. These nations are preparing for war. America is joining Israel in mock attack on Iran. War in Ukraine, uh, Ukraine and Russia. Famine. It is here. It is here. But we are rejoicing. 
because we're almost home. We're almost at the finish line. We pray that the Lord will give us strength to endure because what is coming is not going to be anything light. The Jacob's trouble, but the Lord promised that he's going to save us out of it. As long as we continue to have this hope and trust in him, don't put your trust in no man. Don't put your trust in no man. The Lord is going to keep us. Let me finish with, um, is it 2 Peter? 2 Peter 3.10. Let's go to 2 Peter 3.10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, meaning this current heaven, this is Esau's heaven, the current ruler, this is their heaven. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Everything that you see, their stadiums, their institution, the White House, everything that these people are attached to is going to be burnt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are ye to be? in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of our power, wherein the heavens, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with heaven heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. And I'm going to end it there. So now we know what is coming. We know what we need to do on our part. Let's continue to walk in the path that the Lord has created for us. Family, you have this truth. You are blessed beyond blessed. Things are escalating and it's never going to stop. It's like a movie. When you're getting closer to the end, things started to heat up, heat up, heat up, heat up. And then the climax, family, the Lord is coming. Because everything starts slow, slow, slow. And then you started getting to the stories and then, you know, and then things start happening slowly and then eventually speed up a bit. And then it keeps getting, things get start getting heat. It starts start getting deeper and deeper and family. By the time you turn around, yes, you're on the edge of your seat. This was happening. The prophecies are jumping off the pages. All praises to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. And this should comfort you. This should comfort you, should give you hope. Family, without hope, we are dead. But we have hope because we have this truth that the Lord has blessed us with. This is the true riches of this world. With that, family, I will say shalom or praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai, our King. That's right, our King. Nobody can put a claim to that. This is our king, the king of Israel, Yahweh Shai. So family, we are living in an interesting time. And uh, hold on to what you have. We are almost out of here. We got Ness. Oh, we got Ness, family. We got Ness. We got Ness, family. Don't give up the hope. We got Ness. Shalom.